Hey there, product launchers. Going live today to talk about product packaging, warning labels, compliance labels, all kinds of those like, you know, really fun compliance stuff that you all love to think about when you're developing new inventions and products. But I thought it was really relevant. We got this question through the Product Launch Hazards uh, community group. And I thought this was really, really relevant for all of you out there to listen, that this is something that you really should take a look at and consider it early on. So it's really easy for you to do this. It's not really difficult in the early days. I mean, you definitely want to get a lawyer involved. I'm not going to claim to be a lawyer here. But you should be comping as your first line of defense, right? You should be comping all the other products on the market. Go take pictures of their boxes at retail stores. Go um, get their instruction sheets. Um, open up the product. Buy it. I mean, you should be buying your competitive products. I mean, we do this all the time for our clients. You should too. Open them up. Check out the warning labels. Check out everything that they've done in there. The bigger the brand, the better because they usually have in-house counsel and that's a really good indication of you need these warning labels. So, you know, this is sort of this question that comes at the last minute when people panic. They're like, oh gosh, I got to do the box and I probably should have a warning label on there or somebody puts that bug in their ear or they forget. They print the box, they print the instruction sheets, and then they're like, I have to add this, and then they add stickers on it later. This happens all the time. We see it constantly. Um, but this is something that you should be considering from the beginning because it's also something that you should be aware of. Is this a high liability category? So if you're developing a new product in some category, so we've done a lot of office chairs. You guys know that. And office chairs are a huge liability, and there's a gigantic warning label on the bottom of every chair. It's usually stapled to the bottom if it's a, if it's a chair that has a wood wood bottom to it um, or if it's like one of the mesh chairs that we designed it's like this tag that actually just kind of hangs off and hangs underneath it you know it looks like those mattress tags that you don't want to rip off and there's tons of warning labels on the product too because you know people shouldn't stand on their chair they will but you have to say that and so most of this stuff is because it was litigated and so you definitely want to pay attention to those that have been in the industry longer than you, who have potential legal staff, and those are the ones that you really want to go ahead and comp and take a look at their warning labels. But remember that that is not a substitute for getting legal advice. If you need a legal advisor for compliance and warning labels, please send me a private message. I have a great one here in Orange County that I really like. She's wonderful. She has great small business prices and she works really quickly because we all know you've waited till the last minute to put this on your product and your pot packaging and you're really thinking about this uh, too late. So she works really quickly and I just, I really think she's one of um, the best resources we have. So private message me and I'd be happy to send you a link and connection to her. So anyway, just wanted to go live real quickly and kind of mention that as the first line of defense and the first line of option, a first really inexpensive option for you to make sure that your product is in compliance, make sure that you're including all the things you need. Um, as always, on productlaunchhazards.com, um, and that's hazard with two Zs, just like it says right here on the mic, on productlaunchhazards.com, we have regular office hours with attorneys, um, with experts in the industry. With uh, We're bringing on a new package designer um, in the next month as well. So there's lots coming on to the platform, and we have about, I don't know, 10 experts, maybe a, maybe a dozen now. I think we have a dozen now. And so we have office hours running every single week. And next week, really, really cool. We have a holiday office hour special. So we're working on holiday design strategies, um, design trends, color trends, seasonal strategies, inventory strategies. All of those will air on the podcast and stuff in the first week in July. But if you're a member, you can access them next week live and you can ask all your really burning questions about what happens in the fourth quarter. So um, this is the time to do that. So thanks for listening and uh, tune in next time.